Welcome back to Broken Sword. So, there's some bad news. I actually already did this episode. All of it. It was completely done. And then I hit the stop record button. And my computer blue screens. So, yeah, that's, that's great. I actually still have the footage, but I didn't have a chance to save the audio. So, that was completely lost. And it sucks. But... I'm just gonna have to do this again, and unfortunately I also, stupidly enough, saved over both my saves. So I had to load these old saves of mine that I had from, like, Ireland. So I replayed that part, and why do I only have 44 now? I thought I had, like, 47 or something. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember. Well, anyways, I'm just gonna have to make do with this, regardless if I missed something in this save or not. I, I can't remember. So... Let's get into it. So we're Nico, and yeah, I'm just gonna, like, keep My playing as normal, but obviously I've already done this, so we can see that she has some messages, but let's turn on some sexy music first. I had messages waiting to be played. You have three messages. Hey, Collard, it's me, your favorite editor. Ah, uh, guess what? I'm gonna give you a second chance. Yeah, that's a really good voice quality TV on that. Uh, what's so it called? What's new? Voicemail. If you're interested, drop by the office. In fact, drop by the office anyway. We have to talk, Nico. That story of yours, I spiked. It won't go away. You've made some dangerous enemies out there. Hey, Nico, it's your old pal. I mean, your new pal, George. Whoa, Ireland. <laughs> oh, <laughs> switch the music. And Damn it. I got some amazing news for you. Gem of a story, in fact. Oh, oh. Gotta go. Yeah, fella here's got a drink lined up for me. See you tomorrow, Nico. Slonsha. Yep, only here for a day and I'm speaking the lingo like a local. Mademoiselle Coulard, this is Emel de Carchon. I wanted to thank you for being so understanding when... Come to lunch, why don't you? Tomorrow. I might have more news. There's a Monsieur Merlon coming to see me this evening. He said Merlin. he was murdered. In fact, he'll be here shortly. I shall let you know what he says. Goodbye, dear girl. Till tomorrow. Yeah, she's dead. Merlin? Oh my God. Merlin's the killer. I'd better get over there and mourn her now. When it came to no being bother. too she's fast, dead. Imelda was up there with the best. I owed her nothing. But I couldn't just let her die. But she's dead. Let's go. I arrived to find the Palais Royal courtyard deserted. I only hoped that I'd beaten the assassin here. I had to warn Imelda before it was too late. Yeah, nope. Alright, let's check out this. Cochon's front door. There was a fresh scratch on the paint. The kind that's left when someone's picked the lock. If I was right. Wait, what? Imelda was getting a lesson Scratch from my Scratch of paint on and the door? Wasn't the old moving on the lock? Routine. There was like a scratch on the metal lock? What? I don't understand that. If you pick a lock, you don't really scratch the door. Well, whatever. Suspension of disbelief, I guess. Locked? No way was I going to break through a door like that. The intercom system wasn't working. Bad sign. Somebody had cut the wire. Can I, like, pick it? Oh. Mouse, stop it, please. A hairpin to pick a high security lock? Might work in a movie, but not for me. Well, too bad. And it's not like this key for the, like, study. Nope. Alright, so. Going up this way. If only I could... That broken window looked like the best way in. Fixed tight. Presumably to stop critics... Oh, you can just climb it. It was held in place by wires. Hmm. Maybe if people say, what's the po... Oh, of course. I'm... I just, just realized I have to break these. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna stop doing that now. Pretending like I don't know what's happening. I am... I do it very badly, or poorly. I really that sound is insane, though. Alright, and up if we I go.
The and window patching repaired with the plastic sheet was thick and strong. And I tried to use the hair clip because I figured she God mouse, please. That she um, could like no. pierce it, but nope. But we also have this, the flattened shell casing, which I guess works like a knife now, because logic. And open it. Journal time. Oh right, I haven't read this. There's like a bunch of stuff to read. Uh... Wait, no, I've read this. I've read that. So yeah, it's only this. Oh no! Found part of a photograph which links my father directly to Carchon. He was part of Carchon's organization. A fascist involved in war atrocities. Can it really be true? Papa is the link to this whole business. Was he the real reason why Car Carchon, as ah, Carchon asked me to meet him? Wait, no, ask to meet me. I hope George does come over, but this part of the story, but this part of the story must remain my own terrible secret. Palais Royal, Imelda in danger. Three messages on my answer machine. My editor very worried about the story. George calling from Ireland, drunk. And finally, Imelda Carchon. She said that a man called Merlin was is visiting her for dinner tonight. That's Khan, the costume killer. She is in terrible danger. I have to go and warn her. Broken into Carchon's apartment. I make a great cat burglar, she writes as she comes into the door, like pulls up her journal and just scribbles down some amused thoughts. And nothing to click here. Wait. Is the... Oh yeah, the door's open. Huh. And yeah, she's obviously in the study. My god, I'm too late. Told you she was dead. Imelda. Oh no. Except she's Mika? not! Don't worry, or maybe she's a zombie. Right. You know that isn't true. It was Merlin, wasn't it? Dressed as a cavalier. Absurd. You came to warn me, didn't you? I must be crazy. Let me see you, Nico. All oh, this time you were just using me. Which one is the real Imelda? You are an extraordinary girl. Thierry would have been so proud of you. You didn't know my father. So like him. Something about the eyes. I wish we'd had time to get to know each other. She was gone. She cheated me. Lied to me. Don't call the police or anything. Or a hospital. But why? Like, she looks like she's been stabbed in the gut. And if you call the police or the, the hospital or an ambulance, she, she might... Still be alive, but okay. Never mind. Even in death, She's dead. Imelda looked the same. Don't bother. Beautiful, inscrutable, the Ice Queen alone in her ice palace. Also, I have no idea how she's sitting like that. It, I guess she's supposed to lean against the couch, but that angle makes it look really weird. Around her neck was a locket. I opened it. Inside was a tiny gold key. I took the key. I had to leave. I knew I could never return. Don't... don't close the locket or anything. Oh, okay. Just go. Bye. Leave your fingerprints all over the place. It's fine. Um, can I call someone? There wasn't anyone... No. Alright, so wait. Music. We need the music, obviously. Sorry about that. Um, I just realized that YouTube has been cranking down a lot on, like, content ID and stuff. So, yeah. I think I'm not gonna include any music from this thing, because it might just get copyright flagged. And I'll probably just save here quick and redo the voicemail thing, just to, like, give you the voicemail without the music. Yeah. But before I do that, let's have a look in this, because obviously... According to Adventure Game Logic, 
That small key must surely be the lock or the key In to the this light, a small box a that her father left her. What? Wait. What did she say? What was that? What is she doing? You don't scare me. Especially Oh. It was the what? The the overhearing thing. But I threw that well, I guess I didn't throw it out in this, but how could you not throw it out? That is very weird. Okay. The box of the I'm confused now. Well, let's just keep going with it. The box was And yeah, I just turned father. down the music. It never had a key. So, unlock this. I couldn't believe it. Imelda's key opened my father's box. I dreaded what I was going to find inside. It was a photograph Just imagine of dramatic Imelda. music in your Why head. Here, in my father's box. I felt as if a black hole had swallowed me up. Imelda and Carchon grinning. While behind them a village was being razed to the ground. Its people butchered. And there, next to them, staring out at me across the years, my own father. There was a letter. I feared there was even worse to come. Alright, let's see if the music is gone. If it isn't, I'll just mute this. Okay, seems to be all right. Good. Hotel okay. Saint George, Algiers, we're, we're cool. Friday. We're fine. My it's fine. Thierry, by the time you read this, you'll be safely out of Africa. Hey, yeah, I'm glad Thierry. I don't have to read this. Pierre and the organization do not know who you're really working for. Or about us. Did you think I would betray you? I could not. You wanted me to leave him, but I don't have your courage. I know too much of what has been going on here. They would find me and they would kill us both. Enjoy your life in Paris, Thierry. Your life of honor, of patriotic duty. Do they give medals to spies? No, they'll just give you a funny job in an embassy somewhere. I could never share that with you. Imagine me, a diplomat's wife. So I must stay here with Pierre, the two of us bound together by what we have done to this country. Au revoir, my love. You will be in my heart until I die. Imelda. Suddenly everything made sense. My father had been working undercover for the government. He was one of the good guys after all. Well, I don't know about that. Working for the he government and must have fallen in love. Being she good? Found out who he really was, so he had to leave. Yeah. He broken her heart, but she had never revealed it to anyone. I knew I couldn't either. Whatever he was doing, he'd had good reason to keep it secret. I decided I would respect that and tell nobody. Alright, be prepared for the whiplash your ears gonna ears are gonna like handle now. I knew it was George. For a moment I was tempted to pretend that I was out. Or ask him to go away and come back later. But then Come in. Hello, George. Yep. That's the thing. So, where did you stay last night? At McDavid's. So yeah, that whole segment was of part of the that director's cut. why you look so ill today. Did you get any sleep at all? Not much. I had to share the room with another guy. Did he snow? Hardly. He was dead. And you say what? P. Graham has disappeared? Wait, what? Without a trace. But my visit wasn't a complete waste of time. Wait, what? Who was dead? P. Graham's gem? The Templar's gem. Who was Whoever dead? Jacques Marquet is, he's in for a disappointment. Jacques Marquet? He's the guy who should have collected the gem from Fitzgerald. What are your plans? I want to find out who, what, or where Montfaucon was. All I've got to go by is the name and a picture of a hanged man. Yeah, that's what we saw in that cutscene. 
I forgot last time I did this, but yeah. Um, plaster. Look, Nico, a handful of plaster. Yeah. Why is it that men? What's your problem? Your pockets stuffed with you. You never know when useless junk might come in handy. Very true. Do you want this photograph back? All right, I'm just gonna go through no. all of this very quickly. Hmm. Shake my hand. Uh, nope. Hmm. 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 And gem. You want to look after the gem? No, Josh. I'd be too tempted to sell it. Wow. That's... Let's take another look okay. at the manuscript. So I'm just gonna look There's through the... these. There's nothing new There's is being a... said here. No, click it. And through. My... What a... I want. And now we just okay. leave, oh, I guess. And... Oh, shop. Yeah. Bye. See you. Bye. And suddenly, I amazing so quality. I so much wanted to talk to George about everything that had happened. But I knew I never could. My father's connection to Africa would have to remain a secret forever. His bravery would be known only to the government. And to me. Revealing it would just damage his memory. People would take the story and twist it. Before long, he would be the villain and Carchon would be the hero. I know how they do that. I'm a journalist. It really is so weird, this whole director's cut thing. Um, notebook. Um, Nico will be impressed. I figured out how to open a secret door under the castle, which revealed my next big clue. An image of a gibbet in a place called... I Is that even pronounced gibbets? I'm not sure. It might be like gibet, like French. I don't know. Sorry. In a place called Montfaucon or something. Uh, I'll just join the locals for a quick beer before heading back to Paris. Paris. That word. Need to find out what that word is all about. Something to do with a hanging man? And I need to find out more about the mysterious Marquet. Alright. So, uh, wait, did she even... Wait, I now I don't even remember. Did she tell me in this playthrough? Last time she told me that Rosso had something to say to me. And I'm not sure if that was just in my save or not. It might have been. Also, wait, hold on. Did I? Oh, I'm stupid. I think I saved over both those saves again. God damn it. I could have, like... Actually, I have a copy of them. I think I have a copy of them. So, I'm just gonna play this in this episode, and then when I get to that point I was, I'll just reload those saves again that I... that you didn't watch, so to speak. So, I, I should still have done everything that I did on camera. Like, there won't be anything weird like that. The alarm, or uh, the, uh, what was it? What do you call those? The bug thing that she threw out that I already had thrown out. Sorry for being so confusing, but this is very bizarre and very annoying, and I hope it's not gonna crash again. So let's head to the police. And talk to, uh, oh, what was this guy's uh, name? Like... Sergeant Moo? Moo, uh, yes. right. Have you heard of a man called Marquet? Yes. He used to be known as the Mole of Mamad. I have he's been hospitalized, probably by one of his rivals. Which hospital was Marquet taken to? The Agenmeyer Clinic, in the Avenue des Hérissons. Why was Marquet known as the Mole of Montmartre? Because he lived in Montmartre, I suppose. Yeah, but why the Mole? I don't know. Maybe he ruined people's lawns. I'd like to report an assault. Yes, monsieur? Where is the victim? I'm the victim. I've been harassed by a pair of thugs. I see. And where did this alleged assault take place? Outside the Hotel Ubu. They stopped me as I was leaving and went through my pockets. Could you describe the suspects, monsieur? One looked like a gorilla, and the other looked like a weasel. Their names are Flap and Guido. <laughs> I'll get them this time. Uh... Have some things. Have some things. Have some things. I and shake my hand, of course. Would you like to sh Not while I'm on duty, miss. Nope. Did I? Yes, miss. And I will Does probably you... not want to show the gem. Hmm. But good. Okay. See you later. And let's see if I can call someone, because I don't know what Rosso wanted, or... 
I, I, I'm very confused by what's going on. Oh, I guess I don't have any, oh, have anyone to call, so it's like, there's nothing. Um, can I just, no, I can't go back to Ireland, at least. But seeing this screen actually indicates that we're probably gonna go out and travel at a later point, or they wouldn't have bothered with this. So, my bet is on either Italy or Greece. Probably Italy. These types of games really love Italy. I don't know why. Maybe, like, Germany or something. Um, so we can go to the hospital, the museum, Let, let's go to the museum. Because we were looking for Professor... something? Chrome? No, that was the museum. Chrome was the museum. The I can't remember. Pardon me, we oui, miss you? Do you know anything about the night? No, sir. The sign on the tree. Yeah, I've already yeah, spoken to this guy about all this. What you do and you're do you know so I'm just gonna they skip it. Where I oh, no. Can you set in there? What's the don't bet what the what kind of yeah. can I take a close what? How so it how it's it does this no do you know me? My guess. Do you wreck that? What do you mean? It, would you like to sh not while? What? That part? It, no. Have you on? Do, mm. And do I really want to show this? I found this gem at a medieval site in Ireland. That means nothing to me, Monsieur. How did you manage to get this job? I had the right qualifications: a military manner, squeak issues, and an irrational hatred of children. Jokes about stereotypes. Thanks for your help. Woo. Let's open this again. What? What? Why can't I open this now? I was able to open it before. Maybe I have to. Oh God! Did the you hear that sound? The Jesus! Shown on the manuscript. That's very loud. No, miss you. Okay, okay. That is weird. Why can't I open that? I could on my other save. Hmm. Let's do this. Nope. What? 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 Why is there a goat sound? Also, why do I have this anyways? Didn't I stick it in the wall? What? Why is there a goat sound? I am so confused. And that stupid chime is... God, my ears. Alright, let's just go to the hospital. So this is where I left off last time, and I think I'm gonna do that this time too. This should be like 20 minutes-ish, something like that. So, uh, let's save... yeah, I've saved over both of these. So let's save here, and then I will go back and just redo the, uh, the voicemail thing without the music. But, uh, thank you for... Ah, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this episode, even though it was very chaotic, very very scatterbrained and weird, and it, it, will, it will be back to normal next time. So, I will see you then. Bye-bye!